What's up folks, welcome to Wasted Space, and welcome back to uh, the end of the rim, maybe? Potentially, it's not looking that great. Um, scythers, you see. Scythers everywhere. Lots and lots of scythers, and we aren't ready for this. We aren't even close to ready for this. <laughs> I've been thinking, I've been sitting here, as I usually do before an episode, musing a little bit. In fact, I've been musing for about the last week on exactly how the hell I'm supposed to beat these guys, because they are quick enough. I mean, not only have we got to get Mick out of there, who's stuck up here, but they're quick enough that we're not going to be able to shoot them all down as they come in. No way. So the question really is, how do I bottleneck them, or somehow split them up, or slow them down? I've got to be able to do it somehow, and I'm wondering whether or not I lean on the one resource I have, which is a single steel mini turret down here. Thinking, I lure them in down here, try and kill as many as possible while they're distracted by this turret, and then pull them back into the base. Idea being that once they're in here, at most two of them can be fighting me at once. If I use a doorway well, let's say I um, I set our guys up back here in a line, open this door, open this door, at most one of them can be attacking at a time through this doorway, but our guys can all shoot cleanly up the corridor? I don't know, this is gonna be really on the edge, and I don't think there's much else to do, but just go for it. So on this basis, Mick's going to go around the back. And I don't like the fact that there's a angry dino up there that's soon to be hungry. Hmm. Okay, Mick's not going around the back. Mick's going through the middle. <laughs> oh god, this is going to be awful. Okay, stage two, weapons. Wasted's alright, Marivio needs something. Thor's got the anti-material, that's going to be important, as is that battle rifle. Obviously, mix up there with a survival. Our guns aren't too bad. Jackalope can't fire, and I'm not going to bother about any renaming yet. Let's just get through this first. Okay, Marivio, you need a something. And you can have either a revolver, an automatic rifle, a bolt action normal, or a good LMG. I suspect a good LMG might be the right answer. So you go and grab that. Everybody else get drafted? I think... Except for, in fact, even Jackalope needs to be, no, Jackalope needs to be restricted to, uh, blah, blah. where's our manhunt? There it is. Jackalope, where are you? Jackalope doesn't even have tasks yet. That's not particularly great. Did I do anything in here? All right, I did do this bit, at least. I just never forgot to do the task side of things. Fine. Okay, so Jackalope can hide inside. Everybody else, it's time to get up and get, I guess, over here. Same with you, Monty. No one, get, no one gets to miss out on this. We just don't take Marivio quite yet, because Marivio needs to... Nope, that's two people. Marivio needs to go and equip the LNG. Thor needs to go outside. Okay. They are going straight for Mick. That might have to... That might interfere quite badly with how I do this, actually, but it's the ones down here I want to take out first. In fact, to the extent I might even get these guys down like right near the turret, because these guys are coming perfect direction. Mick is looking bad, but let's see if we can get Mick to lead them around. It's not what I had in mind initially, but it might work. All right, you guys get down here. These are going to come in. The turret should be their primary target. Moldark, if you could go at the front for us, perhaps not in range of the turret's explosion. I might move people back as they get closer, but if we can pick them off like a few at a time, that'd be perfect. Uh, everyone, can you shoot at the close one? See if we can slow them down. Moldock, not in the line of fire, please. Alright, that's working, because they get, as they get injured, they get slowed down a ton. Not too bad, not too bad. We get these two down. How's Mick looking? Mick's there. These guys are not going where I expected. Some are going up top. So this is actually splitting them up, alright. That might help. They've already got the turret. Whoa, they killed that fast. That's... That's scary. Let me guess. Chevron got caught by that. Oh! Lost an arm. Okay, that's one of many down. Next is up. They are spreading out a bit. Chevron, I can't send you out yet. We need you involved in this. Everybody, shoot as best you can. How's Mick's followers looking? Mick does have a couple. Let's get you down there. That's three dead. That's not too bad. I can't believe I lost Chevron's arm during that. Right, this is looking okay, as long as we can deal with the ones that are apparently attacking. That's fine. You stay up there. Chevron, do I send you inside? 
death in 10 hours. I think I have to. And we need the firepower, but I don't think I can afford... Let's, let's swap Mick and Chevron round firepower-wise. Okay, this is where things start looking a little more hairy, because we're not slowing them down quite as quickly as I'd like. Mick. Hold up, get out of there. Everybody else, shoot the closer one. Alright, this is looking dodgy now. People are getting hit. Cool. You guys actually all need to be on that. Moldark needs to move and kite this one as best he can. Did you get hurt? No. How about Hobbs? Hobbs did get hurt quite badly. Chevron's on his way in. Okay. Uh, wasn't really the right one, but okay. Yeah, Moldark, you keep, you keep kiting that one away. Race start, run. Keep running, Greystar. Moldock, you need to come back now. Chevron's getting inside, so we just got those two up there. They've killed my geothermal. Where's the other one? Okay, so one's coming round as well. That's not great. This one is our main concern, but it's on 25%. That one's on 21. Okay, these two should die oak. All right, they should be almost dead, in fact. Right eye cut out fresh. Whoa, these scythers are nasty in melee. Kill it. Marivio, run. Not that I should be surprised. Right, are these two coming around the back now? Yeah, they are. Chevron. Get the hell into... We don't have any. Don't even have any medical beds at the moment. What have I done, Wasted? Where's your hospital? Yeah, you get in there. Jackalope, can you medical by any chance? Just about. Uh, that might be what we have to rely on. Water supplies are completely gone as well. That is a problem. Right, you lot. What's the worst of you? Grey Star, 17 hours. Four hours. Holy balls. Rest until healed, and then Doctor Wise. Can I afford to send Grey Star in? Probably not. Death in four hours, major, major issue. <laughs> Come on, Marivio, get in there. Uh, right, I need to send a doctor in as well, anybody. Actually, no, maybe Jackalope is the, the best option. Let me send Greystar in once we've got one of these two down. That's better, right, Greystar, get inside. Okay, so if I can get this one dead, it's just a case of then keeping the colonists alive. I mean, to be fair, that one should be pretty much sorted. It's the question now of how bad are you lot? Monty Hobbs, 15. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. So it's just these two. Greystar, 16. Marivio, where have you ended up? Three hours. Chevron, nine hours. Jackalope. Tend to Chevron immediately. Greystar, how... Dead are you, 16. I might get Greystar to tend to Marivio before anything else. Although these guys are going to be free in a second, aren't they? So Eldest Wolf, get inside. Oh, don't get inside like that, mate. There you go, get inside. Everyone get inside, in fact. Now can I keep Marivio alive? Greystar, you're going to have to stay drafted there, my friend. The same way I'm going to do something. Chevron, eight hours. No, I'm going to leave Chevron to be cured. Um, oh, there, there's meds only just up there, so that should be all right. Oh, he's bleeding hard. Rivia's got inspired surgery. You, you, can you do that on yourself? Is that a thing? No, I know it's not a thing. <laughs> oh, everyone got cut to all hell. That is brutal. Right, uh, rescue Marivio. That's almost better that way around. I'd almost have preferred it if he'd done that earlier. So we could grab him. Because this has like some sort of effect of like pausing the... Like pausing the, the, the timer on them dying, it seems. All the while they're being carried around, there's, they're, they're sort of alright. Is he going to get there in time? This is so damn close. 
Come on, he's dead in two hours. Come on, Greystar, we are relying on you here. Best doc in the house. Death in one hour, just... I put out an injury? I don't know if it works. Like, stop the bleeding, man. Stop the bleeding. Death in two hours. He's going to get infected. Big style. But... Four hours. And then we need to get Greystar healed ASAP as well. Three hours. So we've got to replace an eye and an arm. But technically we got through. I'm slightly surprised, actually. Okay, now. Greystar. No, don't feel it. Rest until it's healed. Someone else. Um, clean the blood in there. Chevron. Can I get you to... Not assigned to Doctor. I need someone to get in. Jackalo, can you go and feed Marivio and wash Marivio? And then we're going to need to try and do the same with Greystar. Maybe Mick can go and, uh, can you clean the trash over there, maybe? Monty Hobbs do his, does his best to try and reduce the infection chance in that room. Have we got some panoxycycline? We do. I'm, uh, yeah. Malaria, sickness, sleeping sickness, plague. Ah, yeah. This might not make any difference at this point, but at the same time, Marivio cannot afford to have anything else go wrong with him. Uh, and then can we send someone to go and heal Eldest Wolf? Like Mick, maybe. In fact, oh, sorry, Greystar. Didn't Eldest Wolf also need some love? No, oh, Eldest Wolf's okay. Phew. Right, restrictions. You can go unrestricted again. And we just about survived. They did all die, right? Yeah. I'll leave any still alive scythers hanging around outside the base. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm legitimately surprised I got through that one. Um, I mean, it didn't come without some serious costs. We're missing arms and whatnot. Means I'm going to want to get the prosthetic stuff done pretty soon. Medical emergency, Marivia. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. But that's fine. If we keep him well fed, and maybe, as I said, give him this panoxycycline in the basis that it should uh, prevent at least some of the possible infection stuff that could happen here. And then this question is just how, where do we get him an eye from? Probably genetics. Of course, this has also raised a bit of a question that. Uh, of where am I going to put our hospital? I didn't think that bit particularly well through, did I? Kinda need to get that, like, prioritised too. How are we? Have we got the components? We're low on steel for it. Yeah, Thor, can you... Can you work on that as best you can? Nope. Need materials, steel. Okay, where are we getting it from? That's outside of breaking down scythers, which would actually work just fine as well. Gold! Gold in them there hills. Mm, not down there, please. Somewhere closer, just a little bit. No, it's going to be that, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, steel's starting to become a bit of an issue in this colony. Especially as they've got this bit up here that I... Oh, can I get to that bit? I couldn't get to this, but I might be able to get to this stuff up there. Unless there's water underneath it. Hard to tell. Caravan request. A mega screen television and an animal implant. Bear liver. Uh, Button down shirt. Times ten. That's not too bad, actually. Huh. On the basis that, like, I think we're making button down shirts, so we might actually have a decent portion of that already. He says, not finding any button-down shirts in the in the stores whatsoever. Are we not making them? We are making button-down shirts. So where are they? Am I just blind? 
Or are we including the ones that are on the colonist? Count equipped, yeah, we've only got the ones that are on there. Or on them. In fact, we probably don't even have that, do we? We probably need to go and adjust these so that they a uh, bit more closely match the number of colonists we've actually got. Yeah, might be a bit more sensible. Yeah, the power. Power's going to be a problem now. Right, wasted. Go find some... I assume because of the power as well, the machining table is not exactly going to be doing much good. Yeah, the scythers are just sitting down. Sitting around. Yeah, I thought you can't do it, can you? No. Who is assigned to smithing? Greystar could be. And then there's Mick that does, like, everything. No, mate. Let's not cut stone blocks from chunks. Let's get some steel from these scythers. I think that's our easiest source of it at this point. Get that up and running before we start losing crops, for example. We're fairly set for food, but still. Here we go. Oh, we get plasteel from them and not, not normal steel. Okay, that's no use then. Kind of knew that and was just being an idiot. Now the question is, well... I do about the steel problem. I guess we have to go down the bottom here. For the time being. Am I going to end up having to buy steel? I oh, know, we've got ground penetrating scanners and deep drills to come. It's just... <laughs> that seems rather a long way away. Okay, so we do have, we do have the steel for it now. Cool. I don't know where they got it from, but they've got it. Mick's just going to work into the night doing that, aren't you? Oh, they do give steel, it's just he picks it up every time. Okay. That makes more sense. Or me being less of an idiot, I suppose. Same, same difference. Maybe we go and find... Where is it? Under the hygiene mod that we have those... Misc, maybe? Yeah, the ceiling fans. Maybe we get some ceiling fans in these rooms, or in the centre of this room, to add some light. Because there's a few fairly dark spots around, and I'd forgotten that we got these ceiling fans that I could use for that. The same way I can use them for like some of these silly little corridors that are quite hard to... So we could have one in there and one in there. You're not building the... Okay. Okay. And this bit's almost done, other than... Floors, we have... Okay, so all the floors are just waiting on stone now. Oh well. At least people are people are having a bath. Need to um, remember to set these to specific once they're sealed and finished enough that it works. Rivio's pissed. Because he's missing an eye. What are we researching? We are, Okay, we're on the genetic engineering. I might want to go down... Prosthetics soon as well. Not that prosthetic eye is much use. Maybe, to be fair, maybe the genetic research gets us replacement parts quicker. The research is quite expensive, but it might get it quicker. This is kind of what we're going. I believe. No, no, no. Where is the um, one for... Yes, there we go. Humanoid genetic engineering is the one we want to actually get the human... Uh, it's... I don't know what to call it. <laughs> this place complete enough, do you think, that we can... Find a not really? And hanging up on... Uh, it's going to be hanging up on blooming stone again, isn't it? Alright, let's power off the machining table. Actually saying that, no, let's not power off this as anything's able. We're about to get our power situation sorted again. That'll be fine. I think I need to tidy this place up a bit, it feels. Getting messy. And there's blood everywhere. Although Chevron's on that, so... Not too bad. And then worry about defence. Big style worry about defence. Wow, that's a fair few of them showing up for this. Okay, so we got bathroom here. That makes me think think like uh, hospital wise. Maybe we put hospital and genetic research next to each other up here. 
Yeah, I think that could work. Stick with our idea otherwise. Ooh, that actually will be very handy. Thank you. Are you, are you hauling chunks? Oh, he's going a long way for chunks. Are we... Oh, the smelter's not on, so we're not actually smelting metal from slag either. Have we got the spare power for that? Not really. Looks like we were relying quite heavily on that battery buffer, which, now it's gone, is a problem. Okay, solar? Put solar down here and do a separate network for in here. Essentially power our sunlights off solar specifically, so that way they don't interfere with the rest. So, assume we're going to stick with two sunlights, we're going to need... What's that? 5,800 power from solar. And each solar panel produces how much? You could tell me. Probably does. No. No, it doesn't, actually. That's not very helpful. Is it 1,200 per generator, I think? Can't really remember. Hmm. Anyway, solar generators required. I guess down here is as good a place as any for now. On the basis that eventually this gets split off from everything else and runs itself. Well, sorry, not this. Not the whole room because we need the geothermals. The lights get split off and run on these alone. Yeah, people have got tattered stuff because we... Uh, we didn't actually have things queued up with enough. We got, I hadn't noticed we'd gone well above 10 colonists. There you go. So it does, we got plenty of excess overnight, which then stores up the batteries, which should be enough to then last us through the coming day, in theory. Whether that's actually the case or not, I'll have to have a look tomorrow, because I do want to be able to turn on the machining table and salt out some of our metal problem. Because the other thing I'm going to need, I suppose, actually, I was about to talk about turrets, but not only can we not build particularly good turrets yet, but it's just these mini turrets, uh, I should be building them out of plasteel, really. Especially when I've got a big stash of it sitting right there. Anyway, one thing at a time. This stuff's not plumbed because we're missing sandstone for the plumbing. What are we making in the rock mill? We're missing limestone. We're making limestone. All right. Sandstone forever to the top for now because I think most of this stuff is, yeah, it's all sandstone in here, sandstone walls. So that's what we're waiting on to finish the bathroom up. Then I can get rid of this bathroom, work out where I'm going to put the boiler bits. We just still haven't quite figured out yet. Uh, but otherwise, get rid of this rubbish and start splitting this room down so that we can get a uh, dining room to go with this. It might be that this is a bit big and I do both together because that's a pretty sizable room. Well, the other thing we haven't done, uh, where's recreation? Television! Uh, yeah, that's actually that's sort of a good reason why you'd want a room this sort of size, isn't it? It's because in reality, if you do it properly, you can end up with quite a large amount of stuff in here. So let's deconstruct that lot. Ooh, sorry if you can hear the dog. Someone apparently is very excited outside. God damn it. <laughs> yep, hurry up and get it finished, guys. I want to get I want to get this cleaned up. I want to get the genetics going as well, which means I'm going to need to build this building in theory. Which means we need more stone, which means I might actually be better off getting some people to do some hauling, but a lot of the hauling around here is actually all to do with scrap metal. I mean, I could just mine some sandstone, but from getting rid of these is it starts to collapse on you and there's no way of fixing it. On the Twitch stream one, I've got basically a bit of this that I mined out near the base that just spawns bugs every now and then. Slate tiles are... Oh, that's a good point. Have I taken apart all the buildings for anything that might... No, because th that's made out of slate as well. What about this? Marble, that's not something we're using. Uh, limestone, you see, there's a few bits and bobs around, but not much. Not much of you. So are we coming into... Ooh! We've survived another winter. Bizarre. And they're getting this stuff finished. Because that is a eyesore in the middle of the base at the moment. 
like a proper ice <laughs> the state of it. And this stuff isn't even sandstone, so breaking this apart doesn't help. Uh, the other question, so we were going to have, in here we were going to have, I believe the idea, if I remember correctly, it's been a while, was entertainment. Um, down here we were going to have our like dining area. Then here we were going to have guest stuff. I seem to remember, or was that going to be a prison? Ooh. Uh, that's a problem. Consider assigning them a double bed. One of the two of them isn't in my colony. Well, that's going to piss them off. What's Cass giving me? What we got? Raw fungus, no less. Um, okay. I'll take it. Oh, so something killed the Daka Raptor. That's the new name for it, by the way, the Daka Raptor. Okay, so it fought a Timberwolf and then died of blood loss. Where's the Timberwolf? Did you eat it? No, there's the Timberwolf. Mmm. Foods. Foods, and soon, the DNAs. Oh, they had someone I could trade with. I didn't see that. There's so many of them running around. Jackalope's on new negotiator, right? Yep. Now, there's an argument with Jackalope that I might break my usual rule and actually just keep the name Jackalope because someone called Jackalope turned up in the comments. That's rather appropriate. Right. Yeah, so we've got some stuff that we can sell because it's in pretty trash condition. They really don't have much. They've got a uranium spear. What? They really don't have much we want, do they? In fact, they've got basically nothing and not even very much money either. Oh well, that's a shame. Hey, you will. Nine silver it is. <laughs> a bit pathetic, but whatever. Yes, it's always better having a bath next to... So we've got a male one there. This isn't plumbed up yet. And is missing a door as well by those things. This one can therefore be... We'll do female at the top, male at the bottom maybe. Just so I remember. Oh, that balls things, balls things up until you get a door in place. go. Unfinished limestone small sculpture. Cancel. <laughs> that's where the, um, that must have been there for ages because that's where the stone cutters table was once upon a time. All right, let's reinstall you one down. Yes, need to clear up this, this space in here. It is pretty goddamn ugly. And only two people can play poker at the moment, which is terrible. I get that cleared up, maybe use this side as uh, the television side, give him some better rec. Have a look, how does that fit? Oh, quite nicely. Yeah, so we'll whack that there, let's reinstall some statues either side of the TV, maybe. Let's get one of these random lights in the corner. And then probably just get rid of the other one, I guess. Or maybe reinstall you down in that and do opposite corners down there as well. How's the stone process going? Right, we've got sandstone now, so they should get this place finished relatively quickly. Eee, genetic engineering. Sweet. Uh, which means we need to go for humanoid genetic engineering immediately so we can start replacing some of our, um, some of our problems, we'll call it. The only thing I need to check is how good is our doctor? 13. Not great, but we've got decent meds, so... Speaking of which... Is that the only decent meds we have? Tis indeed, in which case those are now forbidden. And Meridio came out of that alright then, didn't he? Well, I decided missing an eye. And then, who was it that lost an arm? Don't tell me it was Greystar. Nope. Someone lost an arm. Everyone lost an eye, so missing one eye, another eye. I'll say no one lost an arm. It was it was two eyes. Roger that. And very very vicious these scythes, just going for eyes. 
Now, I think one of the things that you can create does fix that. Are you... We don't have enough... Okay, uh... No more prisoners. No more medical. Chevron, get up and go to bed or something. Sushi. We're actually making sushi now as well. Awesome. Now, I should, at the very least, temporarily, now we've got it, Rematomics. Ooh. Blast doors. Hmm. I don't think we have any depleted uranium as it currently stands, so... <laughs> let's stay away from that. Genetics. Here we go. Genetic extraction table. This is what we need. Ah, this is where I... I I'm going to put this down for now, but this is going to be temporary. Because this thing is going to end up going alongside the pulp of the recycler and all the other bits. But for now, we can at least get some genetic extraction on the go. Start collecting that sweet, sweet DNA. And if any of you guys haven't watched, if any of you guys watching haven't seen the, uh, well, what do you call it? Um, uh, Blaine, blank, blank, help, help. Genetic research and, and questionable ethics mods. Uh, these are really cool. <laughs> Hey, lefty herd of Mildersen, squid leather, wolf meat, rat meat, and cloth war veil. Their stay was okay. That was borderline, because I don't think I've got enough guest beds for them. But people were saying that they, they, you can do, if you do the guest beds in one, like, barracks-like area, they're not too, like, a bit like with the prisons, they're not too bad with that. In fact, prisons are probably even worse, because with the prisons, if you do them in one big area, if they decide to fight with each other, they can do that a little too easily. we not have wood, or what's going on? Are people just very busy? We've only really got two constructors, and Thor is busy. No, no, don't just play Game of Ur on your own in a random room. You should really leave one of these. Is this owned by anybody? No, let's leave one of those specifically for prisoners. Yeah, they're taking ages. I think it's because everyone's running around so much collecting materials from, like, the edge of the map. Not helped by the fact that apparently those visitors left their stuff down here on the edge of the map. Cheers, guys. It's that time of year again as well. Bit of growing season. Let's see if we can actually get the corn to finish this time around. Not that we're not really growing that much outside anymore. The stuff inside's kind of... Sustaining us quite nicely. Need that extra fridge too. Because that is jam-packed. Although the genetic research table will help with that a bit on the basis that that will mean that a lot more of the corpses are being used in that direction rather than other directions. Right. Reinstall these down. Uh, I don't know where. Let's have that there and that there and delete them both. So I can get... Ooh, leather-wise, what are we looking at? Can I actually have that much leather? Because we're using so many of it for clothes. Oh no, we've got 2,000 sauropod leather still. I don't think we need to make sauropod leather chairs. That seems like a waste. But they do need some chairs there, otherwise they will not watch the television, so... How much is it? Oh, I suppose it's so easy to get more sauropod leather. Whatever. Okay, so it's up to the edge of that, right there. That's not too bad. And for now, I will only put a few down. Actually, it's quite a big colony, isn't it? Screw it. Actually, that's kind of ugly. A little theatre in the corner. Cool, so these should now all be nicely self-contained. This can be held open. That actually needs a door still. And this whole thing needs floor. Like so. Shoot friend, bandit camp quest. No, thank you very much. And hopefully that cheers them up a bit. Getting some that, that high quality entertainment. Evidently needs some more cleaning. 
going on in this place as well because this is not particularly nice. Maybe jackalope could have slightly higher cleaning than hauling? Yeah, I think that makes some sense. It's nice that the research is going that fast, but it kind of can't come at the cost of everything else either. And the power situation is fine, because we got these... Was I right? The 1800, so 3,600. Yeah, we should have plenty there to run both of these. That's, in fact, that's more than I need. Cool. Uh, in which case... Yeah, the only problem is getting this in there to the two lights, isn't it? That should be enough, and then I'll just have to uh, deconstruct the power conduits either side. Put those directly into the lights, have those power the lights. I mean, what is it? So it's basically 6,000. With 1,800 from each of these, we're a little over the top. A little over the top, like 1,200 over, plus another 200 from the fact that these are actually only 2,900, which is unfortunately 1,400, which is not 1,800, which means I do need four. <laughs> That's fine, maybe we can run... I don't think the sprinklers need anything, do need power, do they? Yeah. Okay, so maybe we can't run the sprinklers off of it. And then once that's done, really becomes time to think about how the hell do we defend this place. I should probably also... I mean, the smelter uses a lot, but we've got a lot of spare power now. Get the smelter on. Start smelting down some of this slag that's kicking around. We're going to need to get ahead on the metal. Not sure it was necessary to turn it on overnight, but... Hey, we've got plenty of excess. What do I do with this radiator? It always seem to look a bit weird to me. I don't know what you guys reckon, but they just sort of, the way they float on the walls. No other item does that in the same way. It's a bit odd. And then you might as well get reinstalled there. Oh no, that was a bit of a bit of a lag. What happened there? When your i9 isn't quite good enough to keep up with remote. <laughs> Yeah, need to sort this out as well, then repeatedly going into the kitchen for food. Need to make sure that this is the more attractive location. Looks like they actually get a higher like food benefit from the sushi, because they keep going gunning straight for that when they've got the option. I think some people are watching television and some people are working on chairs. It's hard to tell. <laughs> What's that done to our sauropod leather? A uh, fair bit. Oh, there is some cleaning going on. Good stuff. Still ugly as sin, but slowly improving. Slowly heading in the direction of like, oh, maybe he did have a plan. I didn't, but it might look like it at the end. They got the genetic... What are we going to be missing for that? Steel again, yep. Refugee chased at a Pobliton, okay. A weaver named Mundi calls you from nearby. He's been chased by tribes people. Tribes people is good. He's 32. Uh, where is he? He's a weaver. One archer chief, five archers, seven berserkers, seven heavy archers, eight hunters, two penitents, and six warriors. Sorry, what? Uh, a quick, like, shitty maths. 14 plus six, that's 20. 28 plus the two, that's 30. Then the five and the one. So we got 36. 36 tribesmen against 11 with no turrets. Yeah, I can't see it going well for you, Mindy. I'm sorry, friend, but I'm not fighting 36 tribesmen. <laughs> not yet. We don't have the heavy weaponry for that. I guess I'm going to need to look into the terraforming as well because this here needs to start not being marsh. The same way up here needs to kind of be cleaned up. How are we looking for dirt? We've got a little bit of dirt. We've also got a little bit of squid leather. Very important. 
kind of also hanging on them just getting this bit done so that because that that there is just so ugly can you finish it please guys oh Morivio, can you also go and use your gun i don't want to have to re-equip you next time yeah look we've got meals starting to sneak their way into here really badly need that overflow fridge or i need them to do more with the meat any sign of that nah, they're, they're all too busy with floors that was my own fault Recovering plenty of wood. Not interesting that for construction tasks, they'll ignore the um, gender-specific settings for the rooms. Not surprised, just interesting. That's kind of the way around you'd expect it. Uh, right, you hold open, so it's nice and quick movement between there. I'll do the same with... Oh, no, that's the sandstone. Is there a door there? Yeah, there is. Lovely. Starting to look almost like there was a plan. This is sort of a bit large, but whatever. Plenty of sandstone left as well. I might, for the time being, while it's a little bit dodgy, just go and fill in the missing spots in here with wood. And to be honest, I should probably do the same with this room just to make it not look quite so goddamn awful. A warrior is passing by. Doesn't happen to be the one that's in a relationship with one of our colonists, does it? How's, how's Jackalope feeling about that? Um, apparently just completely forgotten. Tainted flak vest. Get rid of it then. There's no need for you to be wearing no tainted flak vests. Looks like our storage is pretty much full as well. Which I'm going to have to get working on this section next, aren't I? Like ASAP. That's too too much meat and too many weird bits of clothes and the meat's way starting to exceed now. Do I refrigerate the main storage room? You see, tainted's supposed to be off in here, and yet there's some stuff in there that's still tainted and going in. But like, there's not a separate section for the headgear, is there? Because that's tainted, it shouldn't be in there. Balls. Alright, new fridge. Like, kinda ASAP. Where do I put this? I don't have space over here. It's gonna have to be as part of this next bit up here, isn't it? Which is a bit of a problem because of this and how this system's going to work. In fact, I forgot when I was doing the plans that that is going to be there. So this has to... This is incorrect. That's kind of the way the backside of this edge ends. Unless I end up expanding that way or whatever. But for now, that's where it ends, which means... Uh, I guess I do this out of sandstone. Is there any like specific block nearby that we're not... I love how it's refrigerated outside, but stuff's spoiling indoors. Uh, is there any blocks around here that we've, like, been not using that I should be? They're just lying around? It doesn't look like it. It looks like sandstone and limestone is what we've got in the area, and I've used everything that's nearby. Oh, hang on. No, no there's still sandstone. In fact, there's quite a lot of sandstone. All right, we'll keep going with sandstone. Which means that we're going to need to... We done this one. That's gonna be like that. Mostly the purpose for this, of course, being that it means that this whole area still functions if I get manhunter problems or whatever. Set that in so that that's, let's make sure we have that as remove roof area. Don't want any roof to end up in there regardless. Uh, oh, hang on. And that can go away because I don't know where it's from. <laughs> from ages ago, by those things. Anything else, anything else hanging around that's a bit out of place? No, nah, no, nah, looking alright. Cool. Yeah, and even if I put it up there, it's not a very good place for it. Not a very good place at all. So if we 
assume that we plan this out better with the standard two width corridor coming down there rather than anything weird like we're doing at the moment. Essentially keeping this building separate still, I assume. Why don't we put a backup fridge, like the overflow fridge in there? So that would mean that we would essentially in fact, I should... No, let's put the overflow fridge in there, but actually line things up neatly as well. So, we need sandstone wall, please. Ah, stop being lazy wasted. So it would be here would be our overflow fridge. something a bit like that and then in fact what you do is convert that into correct this would get reinstalled somewhere more sensible I can't see the piping which is a bit annoying you can't help but feel like that would be rather useful to be able to see when you were okay so I can move it over there for example get it out of the way of that section and then you copy of one of these there Deconstruct that. And poke a hole there as well. And essentially we've got a second fridge that's not quite finished because it will also end up needing that relatively small second fridge, but should be enough. It's not one that we should need to go in and out of very frequently. Um, the other thought is we cancel all of this, which might be a good idea because it's ugly as sin and move up here and consider this to be like three four with fridge because having fridge next to the genetic material is not a bad thing there's some stuff that needs to be refrigerated there's some stuff that isn't but that could be a nice separation for it yeah i'm more i'm more sold on that side of things than i am with the mess i just made down there although i will move that radiator because it's a little nice like that so yeah i'm uh, i'm going to continue with this That should be the correct... Wow, that dog is going nuts. I assume you guys can hear that. Not a problem I usually have, but it's a really hot evening, so I don't know if that means that they've essentially just sent the dog outside. Yeah, so get that done up, and then... It's going to be hard to work out size-wise how much space we need for the gene stuff. I need to leave a fairly decent amount of space for the genes. So if we assume that we'll put an overflow fridge next to this fridge, that'll save journeys. Let's leave a decent amount of room for our gene storage. That, that's probably too much for gene storage in reality. Not gene storage for like the room for all of that stuff. So I might actually do a sort of weird asymmetry on this side where we have that one and that one. And that would have, like, jeans, fridge, medical bay. Jeans, fridge, medical bay, and that would make the fridge double width like that. Is that enough space? 9 by 6 is not bad. It's about the same size as what I'd have down there. I guess I'm going to go for it for the time being, and we'll see whether or not it, it works. I don't know. In fact, maybe we do this slightly up that direction instead. Medical bay-wise, let's have a look. So we've got a bed, space, and then a bed the opposite side. The medical bay is also a bit larger than it really needs to be. I reckon you could do that as well, making our fridge slightly bigger. And we're going to need to cancel a section out there for... I probably only need two coolers for this, plus that lines it up neatly. And then we're going to want... How am I going to do the entrance way? Because this, this won't get... In theory, people won't go in and out of it so frequently, so I could do a more simplistic way in and out of it.
trying to just trying to muse on if there's a if I switch these around if there's a, a set more sensible way I could put the entrance in. Potentially, potentially, uh, but it does shift the medical bay off into a weird spot. So no, all right, I'll leave that as is. Um, the sandstone door there and there, and I will wall that in, and that's our way in and out for that room. Uh, we're gonna want for the hospital, I think. We do an entranceway on, yeah, all the entranceways are pointed inwards. None are pointed out to the side. So we'll do a, a way into this on the side as well. And this same sort of deal. Can I line it up with any of the existing doors just to make it look a little bit more like there was a plan? Bit of a weird little setup, but it is what it is. And a couple of those puppies as well. And then, of course, thinking about it, I'm also going to need to run power. And does this bit need plumbing? The hospital probably does, yeah. But that's relatively simple because we've already running plumbing to here, so. Well, that's a radiator. I was wondering, like, what the hell's that? We're completely out of sandstone, so I can't put that down there. I'll just have to chill on that side of things. Cool, that's done, so that means. I can't safely deconstruct all of this yet. It means I can deconstruct, like, some of this stuff so that they stop using it. And so we get some of the materials back. Don't use that. We've got nice, we've got nice spots now. Better spots. It's going to reveal more holes in the floor as well. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're trying to deal with that. We did have a lot of Brontosaurus meat, to be fair. Aha, nice. And Bill. Okay, so the really cool ones are... Anid. Uh, Non-specialised is crap. Feline. Uh, actually, they're all pretty good. Muffalo. Boomalope. Boomalope's great. Oh, no, I did Muffalo already. A Boomalope already. Muffalo is useful. And we don't have Insectoid yet, so yeah. Air bird, have one of each of those, and let's manufacture empty incubators. We'll have five of those. And these we can just suspend and unsuspend as and when we want, because it's slightly easier to do it that way, I find. For now, we've got so much meat, I'm going to leave them all on. Should also maybe build a copy of one of these and stick it there for the time being. Can we reinstall this? We can, spot on. Going to need some nutrient vats eventually as well, but for now... Who's pissed? Jackalope's pissed. What's up? You're pissed because I'm making you run the whole way across the map. Yep. Have we got home zone down there? Yes, no thank you. Yeah, let's have a bit of a better look at what we've got home zone set up for, shall we? Because, like, those should be home zone. Yep. Uh, but I don't think we need everything in between. Uh, that's a turret, so that can stay. Like this, this shouldn't really be home zone. Uh, yeah, neither should. Whoa, the amount of cleaning they'll have been doing. That'll explain why the cleaning wasn't really getting done quite as well as I'd hoped. Is because they've got like so much home zone to clean, it's ridiculous. Yes, I know I can just turn it off, it auto adding it, but if I do that, I'll forget to add it. So, <laughs> it's a cash 22. I'll figure it out. I just need to remember to do this occasionally. Bit more like it. Now let's uh, expand that home zone to cover a 
few of the bits that I got rid of by mistake. What are you? No, thank you. Anyway, that should, should be a bit more like it. We won't be sending Jackalope halfway across the map in order just to go and do some cleaning. Ooh, wildlife. What have we got? Because this has suddenly become far more interesting. Because all of this stuff is now genes. The warg. Cougars. Yes, we might have to go on a wild animal hunt soon. Get some of those tasty, tasty genes ready for us to start giving people sexy implants. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to make that noise quite a lot. That was a lot of Brontosaurus meat that ended up in there. They're using limestone. Didn't I have this set to only do sandstone? Oh no, it's not only do sandstone, I suppose. There we go, and doors-wise, these should probably be wooden auto doors on the outside of here. We should probably also have one there as well. And one there. It's certainly coming together and looking a little bit tidier now. Starting to sort of get an idea of the outline of things as well. Right, where is our where is our pipes currently going? They do go through here, so for now, these can be reinstalled in the corner of this room. That can be deconstructed. And I can start getting the main structure that's gonna join this all together placed down. Train. Oh, we're on it. And mood wise, people are looking alright. Who's tattered now? Old Ark and Jackalope. Stop picking up the tainted flag vest. Yeah, ironically, on anything, uh, I guess anything might actually allow Tainted, that would explain it. So the only one that should have Tainted is Moldock, because he's got that shield belt that we can't do anything about. I assume Rotted Mush is not allowed in here? I... Keep forgetting where this stuff is. I don't think we want plant matter in there regardless. Uh, to be honest, I don't want foods in there at all. The only thing we want in there that's a bit weird, which we'll have to sort out later, is genetic materials. Uh, it's important with the incubators, as I mentioned earlier, that you um, don't put the empty incubators in a fridge. Not the empty ones, the, the, once you fill one of these incubators, if you put them in a fridge, you'll kill it. So I need to make sure that that goes in there, but then not in the fridge. Before I, I'm pretty sure I set this up correctly, but yeah, we're good. Some visitors? Come to see Little Wasted. How nice. How nice as well that... Okay, that's going to... That's going to annoy people too, quick. Even if it's only a temporary one, fix it. They just come wandering in, use all my stuff. Check it up. Uh, trade. I know I woke you up for that, but I don't care. Maybe these guys have got something nice. They've got medicine, I'll take it. Beer, not so much. Heavy revolver, not so much. And a cloth bowler hat, not so much. That's very helpful of you, friends. Um, next time, bring something useful. It's technically a, a few extra meds is useful, but... The 
to floor over in there soon too. I'm sort of desperately trying not to give them too much stuff to do if possible, but there's a lot that needs doing. I think that should be enough extension up there to keep in here all right from collapsing. Trying to try and be careful with it, but yeah. Oops. That was not intentional. There we go. And floors. Get that all covered over for the time being as well until I can work out exactly what's going on in these rooms. Uh, ways in and out kind of need to move as well. But they're auto doors and rebuilding auto doors is kind of a waste. Not that much of a waste, I suppose, but it still is a waste. Is anyone using the machining table? Or the, sorry, the uh, electric smelter? Or do I need to raise someone's smithing priority? I think I need to raise someone's smithing priority. Yeah, because Mick is on th three for craft, and so is Greystar. Right, Mick, down a bit. Let's see if we can get Mick smithing instead. Perfect! Start getting a bit more. Uh, start getting a bit more steel out of this, and get rid, getting rid of the 2,400 rotted mush I've got. I suspect this is full down here, right? Full enough. There you go. Open that up, and they're starting to move the rotted mush out of the main one. Also doing all right progress over here. Doesn't look like enough progress that. Let's have a look. Hello, we've been going. Oh, I've been going for a little while. Does, yeah, doesn't look like the sort of progress that we'll finish today potentially, but still worth a shot. Why is there random plant? Oh, okay. Uh, randomly clicking on that until it makes it disappear. How wonderful. Yeah. So in the centre here, let's go. I mean, what's this? What's this area in this side going to be? It's either going to be it's going to be probably prison quarters. This either ends up being prisoner quarters or hospital, but vice versa with this. So I don't know if putting a central doorway through there is actually that great a plan. I don't think it needs it. That one should be a bit more spread off, split off, or maybe it should be guest quarters. What do you guys think? Maybe I make it guest quarters and we have our prisoners up into one of these places. I'll leave that side of things down to you guys. I want to start doing this bit here. I feel should, at least some of that, should definitely be dining room. Maybe I split this in half and do dining room up here and something else down here. Mm -hmm. Dining room hospital, could be. Suggestions are welcome in the comments below. What am I doing? Furniture, we're getting a nice big table down because I think that's part of what we're missing for these fine folks. And if I can put it away from the walls sufficiently, that would be even nicer. Yeah, that's not too bad. We'd have to move the Lirad. Oof. Oof. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Same as this. Oh, look at this. I'm fixing it. I'm sorry. There we go, and then I can reinstall that somewhere more sensible, like against one of these back walls, perhaps. Wow, that ended up ugly. I didn't realise that was all there. Yeah, so we do that and then leave a space gap and do a wall across there. That should give a spacious dining room buff in there nicely. And also, if I do the, the wall down there, give me room to put something else in this spot. A bit more efficient, perhaps. Vice versa, that also lets me, once that sandstone plumbing's done, put a little doorway there so they can go straight between entertainment and down here. How are things looking? Things are looking like we're progressing. Like we're moving forwards, even. All right, let's end. Have we, got, have we actually got any DNA yet? 
well, we don't have anywhere to store the DNA, even if we got it, so that's probably not relevant. Yeah, we do. We got some DNA. Got wolf genetic material, you see, and this is the problem. We need to refrigerate that genetic material. Can I, perhaps, get you fine fellas to focus on the important ones first? Like, get this middle bit done, if you could. That'd be lovely. No, not that bit. Not that bit. Also, not the plant scraps either. Forbid all of this rubbish, please. Anything else I missed? Yes, yeah, forbid that. Yes, now come and do the important bits of the wall, please. Come on. And that's going to have to hang on sandstone, and therefore, I suspect gonna have to hang on next episode as well because while progress has been decent and more importantly I survived the flyers at the front without losing everything which again I really didn't expect it's not done yet it still needs a lot of work still I'm gonna pause it there and I'm gonna say thanks a lot for watching guys hope you enjoyed that one less tense than I expected actually a little tense at the start but I was expecting this to basically be an hour of me trying to deal with silas rather than them allow me to just mow them down unusual I should really move that turret somewhere more useful as well shouldn't I like over here somewhere I don't know somewhere that's not right on the edge but anyway a reminder that I am interested in comments as to how we should like what we should do with these various spaces we've got because some of them make a lot of sense but some of them is like which is more important size wise for priority like is do we want to use the biggest space for our prison do we want to use the biggest space for like where we're doing all of our genetic experiments or do we want to use the biggest space for the dining room or what let me know what you think, guys. If you've enjoyed this one, plen, please hit the like button for me. It really helps me in the channel out. If you haven't, dislike button's right next door. And otherwise, thanks a lot for watching, folks. I'll catch you for the next one.